Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Mixed Mowers and today's episode we're going to give it a go. It's as simple as that. It's been in my shed for long enough. I've been staring at it and it just needs doing it. It's in the way and it's got to be done. Today we're going to be working on the Allen Fly Mow with a Tecumseh engine on top. Yes, I said Tecumseh. Um, last time we had a look at this one, I bought it as a part of job lot and the, the airborne one I did, um, I had to take the engine off, the engine was done. This one, from what I remember, I put some carb cleaning down the head and it fired up straight away. So that's a good sign, I think. Um, it didn't run. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm not going to muck about with um, just starting it up. Um, I'm going to take the carburetor straight off because the air filter's completely collapsed and what have you, and it's, it's, it's been sat for years. So we're going to get straight in and take it apart, do a carburetor clean, put it through the cleaner, all that sort of good stuff, and then we'll, uh, we'll go from there, I suppose. If this is your first time watching Mixed Mowers, hit the subscribe button, whack your old bell, set notifications to all. That way you'll be told one done a video or two more on my Saturday night weekly live stream, which starts at 6.30 p.m. UK time. So without further ado, let's get down dirty and let's give it a go. Right, here it is, little Decumpsy. As I say, the air filter, um, just taking the, the air box off and, and there's the air filter. That's what it's doing. The air filter's non-existent. If I get a little tiny uh, spark plug and just literally loosen that off and just pour a little bit of carby spray down the head. Now it is a two stroke, so go a bit careful with the old carburetor spray on here. This is a vintage machine. And with the old hover mode, you need to just hang on to them, really. So let's just, uh, just so we can't get just a, just a blow off. HTD back on. Just want to make it just go bang, that's all I want to do. There you go. So the engine does turn over, HTD off. As I say, I'm not going to muck about with um, just starting to start because I know it won't start up. I did try it in the last one. There's loads of crud in the tank, so the tank's got to be cleaned. Uh, all I've done so far is just undone this little tiny um, wing nut and removed the air box from, from the air filter cover. That's all I've done, okay? So, to remove um, bits and pieces on this, they're, they're, they're a little bit tricky, a little bit. Um, not everyone's cup of tea, certainly not mine. Um, you've got a spring up here, pull that up, that's just gone for a burton. I'll find it in a bit. Where's that one gone? That one's gone around there. I've got a spare one of these, so I'm not overly concerned. I have no idea where that, where that just went. It went somewhere. But uh, it ain't life or death. I've got a spare one. I know where I've got a spare one from. The tank's just come apart, and then there's a little hose pipe down there, and there's a the tank straight off. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Lots of dirt in there. It looks hideous inside. So put that to one side. To remove a carby, from what I remember, there's a little tiny grill in here and you're going to need some kind of pick, like a right angle pick, 90 degree angle, something like that, which I have in the arsenal. There's one. And inside here you've got like a little tiny grill. Just hook it in and then just, just pull it out, just like that. Oh, there it goes, where'd it go? There it is. I just found the spring to the tank as well, how handy was that? I don't think I'll ever find that. Um, so there's a little tiny grill, just there, that comes out. Once you've done that with your pick, you can then look inside there, and it looks like it looks like two eight mils <coughs> off the top of my head. It might be slightly smaller. Yeah, they're smaller than that. So it's probably gonna be an old money anyway. We'll try a quarter or something like that. Let's get a a long reach. Um, extension <clears throat> even that's too big what's that that's 932s that's a kitty that's the one we want so we want a little tiny ratchet let's put a light on make it a bit easier for you guys to see it maybe a bit more is it well, i know you can't see a lot but there's two little tiny nuts in here inside the air box cover. There's one. 
and the other one is uh, hidden away. Undo both of those, and then your air box and part of your throttle assembly will start to loosen up. That all comes away. I need to make a new air filter up because my old air filter is, is toast. That's that done. That can all stay as it is pretty much. We're happy with that. So the throttle is on the nearest hole, just for reference, nearest hole to the carby. So remove the throttle linkage as well. That can stay there. I'll put that spring and all the gubbins together. I'll put that little doodad back in there. And that way, we won't lose no bits and bobs with us. That goes into there. Where's that other spring gone? There it is. That's that. Uh, that can all stay as is. So then we've got uh, a couple of what I would expect to be three eights. Now you can't get a socket in there because that's just the way they're made. Uh, they're made to uh, annoy us. Three uh, eights. There's a three eights. It looked only three eights. I think it'd be a three eights in there. I'll just loosen that off. Be two of those to do as well. And these will take a bit of time because it's a decump seat, nothing's made easy. Now the other one I did, as I say, I had to put a um a Honda engine on it because it was the engine was the engine was done. I'm hoping to get a bit more response out of this one. Now this will be a points machine as well. I haven't checked to see if it's got points yet, I'm just assuming, unless it has been converted. But I haven't yet looked. Okay, so that's the carburetor bolts loosened. Uh, we've got a throttle spring up the top. Let me see if I can't just loosen that carby off. I might have to take the air, the air box off, the, the air recall cover as well, because there'll be a little tiny little tiny arm on this carby. Let me try and remove that spring before we break that spring, Mick. Let me just take that spring off. Here it goes. And take that all out, and there's your carby. Okay. All works, which is all good. Um, let's put this over to the bench. What I'm going to do first is I'm just going to get a bit of a clean, okay? Just going to literally take that spring off. Where'd that spring go? Let's have a look. I want to check just for, just for arguments before we uh, muck about. It goes onto there, and there's one hole just there. Just one hole or two? Don't want to get this wrong and put it back together. I think there's just one. It's just one. So that spring there, I'm going to take that spring off, turn it round, and hook that onto the engine there so I don't lose it. Right, so there's a carby. I'm going to get a quick clear, a quick little blow off. That's all I'm going to do with it. And then um, we'll take it over to the bench and we'll give it a proper clean. And we'll go from there. Right. Got me a carby off. I might need to get some bits out for this in a bit. Let's put a bit of light on, make sure you can see plenty. Yeah, we can see plenty there, Mick. Lovely job. Let's just tip it up a touch. Got my new tripod, so a bit more moving about. So we've got a little carby here. I've uh, got a float bowl here to take off. I've got no tools with me here. Let's just see what that is there. It's going to be about 10 mil. It'll probably be a 3 8 to be fair. I'm moving, moving about if I can help it. Oh, let's drop that. Set 11 will do it. Cool. No. No, no, no. Not in a million. Uh, let's get a 3 8 and let's get an 11 on an impact. So we can't do. So I'm only got to pick up that 11 mil that 11 mil um, spanner has dropped, dropped under my bench. Let's try, what's this one here? Let's see, uh, let's try a 3 8 See if a 3 8 will fit on there. No, it don't, it's gonna be 11. So I'm just gonna shock this, that's all I'm gonna do. Don't go too, much, too hard with it. There it goes. This one's gonna absolutely lair up down with rain in a minute. It smells a bit funky in here. Now I've got my new Brucey hammer. He's got hammer like that. Just great just like tapping carburetors, and in here we have that. To be fair, it's not excessive. You know, it's a little bit of water in there, but you know, I've, I've 
I haven't, I have seen worse. So that's a good thing. He says, I remove the pin and remove the float and the needle. That looks all good. We've got a big jet in there to remove. Fingers crossed this comes out. No, 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 Let's get a slightly bigger fitting screwdriver in there, ain't people? One that fits slightly, slightly larger. I would like to get that out. That's going to be even bigger than that, Mick. That's going to be that old favourite one of mine, one I made specially for it. Uh, where are you? Now, I had you out just the other day. There it is, because I was mucking about with a jet the other day, wasn't I? <clears throat> now, this may be in the vice job. Oh, no, I've got it. I got her. That's good, then. So, out comes the old jet. It would be nice to see this being blocked. Very... If that's a hole, no, it is. I think it is actually blocked. So we've got a jet and emulsion tube in one, which is quite a unique sort of thing. Don't see a lot of those. So that's okay. Bit of WD squirt. See if it is blocked. Yeah, blocked. Just unblocked it, literally, just with uh, doing that. Let me move you guys back and get some files. Get my file kit. In fact, let's just get my whole car box out. That would be easier. Let's put you guys back, you can see what you're doing. There you go. Uh, let's get some files. See what we got here. Now we'd like to go through that one first, would be good. Just to start that rolling. That's too small, that's about to do, that's perfect. Just literally gonna file the side of this wall off. Clean that up. Now this is supposed to run on uh, 25 to 1, but I should be running this at 40 to 1 because oil has moved on considerably since this was made. These are massive holes in this emulsion, emulsion tube, huge. Now what I was going to do is put it through the carburetor cleaner. I was expecting it to be absolutely shocking as a small hole just said, let's see that one. But, do you know what? We might get away with not doing it. Let's see if that's clear now. Yeah. She's clear now. Let's plot the end up. Yeah, look at that. We like that. We like that a lot. So that's good. Uh, float looks okay, a bit dirty. I'll just begin the bit of a wipe off. Needle, just a bit grubby. We'll probably get away with that. Now we've got some jets in here to remove. We need to count how far they are. This is around about, oh, let's say 10, 10 past. And we're gonna do it up to 10 past. That's half one one and a quarter about one and a quarter turns out from well seated take that out there's one there i think that's it i think that's all it's got to come out of this little carby yeah i've got a tick over there there's no slow idling there just a mixture screw that's it so we're happy so that can go into there oh that's blocked Oh, that's coming out of there now. Where's that coming out from? I see that coming out of there somewhere. There it is, that little jet just there. So let's put it back through there then. Let me get it on there. There it goes. I'm going to compress that. Oh, lovely. We like that. Bit of dirt there. Let's open the old throttle up. That clean. Do you know what? This is quite a simple little carb in the inlet. Back through the fuel inlet. We've got a couple of holes here. Oh, 
one there. That's general clean. Right. Do you know what? For what it was, quite a simple little carb. Let me get blown off and I'll come back to you in two ticks. Right, carb cleaned. Um, quite happy with that actually for what it is. Basic little design. I don't think that's the same carby as on the other one. I think that's slightly different off the top of my head, but quite happy with that. So let's put this little mixture screw back in before we lose that. And that was about one and a quarter turns, wasn't it? And about 10 too. So if we wind it all the way back in to about there, and then we want to go 10 two, which is about there, and half, and then one. It'll be about there, happy with that. Uh, emulsion tube, stroke um, stroke jet. That's all cleaned, nice big hole in there. That can go into there, we'll do that up. Now in comparison to the other one, this, is, uh, this carb's in better condition. I won't do the bowl yet, haven't I? I haven't cleaned the bowl yet, Mick. And get the float. That just sits in there like that. That goes in there like that, I think. Yep. A little pin. That sits in there like so. Let's just test for uh, air. That's working fine. Now, the problem's gonna be, is this little tiny bleeder that floods the old carby. That's gonna be the problem, if they, because they do leak. Now, what I did with the last one I had, I actually just used a bit of that aluminium, aluminium stuff, just to, uh, welding rods, just to, just to, because that broke on the other one, and I had to uh, just aluminium weld it, and it, and it held, I'd done my job. There's a bit of gunk in here. I just want to go a bit careful around this, around this, um, this bleeding valve. And the bowl's in good condition. I just, I was just sat here, and I just thought, do you know what? That little flymo that's been sat there for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks, taking up room. And I thought, let's get it gone. Let's have her out. Get in there so I can try and get right in that corner. Still a bit of dirt in there, but I think that's workable. I don't want to give it too much physics, see? Give it too much physic and those little tiny things, they start to weep, weep fuel. I think we'll say that's clean. Is what we think we'll say. I'm happy with that. Okay. Um, let's put that back on. Now, this is gonna be, is gonna be right, so that's going on that way. So that's when I come round, I think around this way somewhere. Let's try it about out there. And there's a little tiny hole on the bottom of a plate on the uh, lawnmower, which is actually round to the right. So that sits on there. So that's got to sit on there like so. And then we'll do that one up. Like that. 11 mil. Don't go too, too tough, mate, because you will not get one of these carburetors. Not original. So that's all good, it's all working. That's all doozy, isn't it? We like that, don't we? We like that. Good. And that's good, we're happy with that, I think. Sweet, boom, boom, boom. All right, that's good. Right, good. Uh, right, happy with that. Let's get it back on the old uh, on the old mower, and um, we'll go from there. Right, I need to keep an eye on the old battery levels because the battery's nearly ready to to pack up. But we'll see how we get on. 
Right, so now that little spring, that's got to go up into there, like that. And that little spring, that's got to hook on there, like that. Somehow. Let's get this right, Mick. That goes onto there. Come on, baby. Right, that goes onto there. And that little spring that's got to go all the way back on the there. Are you sure about that, Mick? That'll be choke. Yeah, so let's take that off. That was there. So that's got to go onto there. Onto that one there. I think it goes up like that and around there. Oh, that's tight. Like that. And then that then hooks onto there. It's a bit fiddly. Oh, right, that's on. So now I've got to try and manoeuvre this carby without breaking that spring. Onto there. You see him, miss? Come on. Work with me. There. That's on. I've only gone and done it. Right, happy with that. Um, I've got them... I've got them two bolts, and I? Two little tiny nuts, which I have no idea where I put them. Did I put them in like a tiny tub? Yeah, they are. Right, two little tiny nuts. They were three eighths. One to go. Oh. On there. Boom, boom, boom. And one to go on there. We get them done up with a little three eight Spaniard. Quick little car be clean, wasn't it? That didn't take long. We like it like that. That's that one. We've got one over here to do. That's that one on, like that. Oh, I'll put that spanner back, don't need that no more. That's that one. Uh, what's next, people? We've got to bring this throttle back, haven't we? And that's got to go onto there and onto there. So I think that's got to sit onto that throttle plate first. Onto there, see what I'm doing? Looking to throttle up. Throttle on, that then twists round, I think. That then sits in there like that. That's it, that sits on there like that, doesn't it? Like that, we're happy with that. And I'm getting my air box, which I've got to clean up yet, so I can't I can't go getting too too involved. I'm gonna take all this apart, because all there's all those smeg in here, see? I can clean all that up. So let me get it cleaned up before I fit it, and I'll come back to you in two ticks. Okie dokie, that's had a bit of a clean. So now I can get these two bolts, fish one into there, fish the other into there, and what are they? They have a little tiny quarter things, won't they? That goes onto there. That sits into there, we'll start that one off. If we can be, be so bold. Oop, hello. goes into there, so start that one off. And we've got another one here to do. That goes into there, and we'll start that one off. And then between the two of them, that should have been all pressed down lovely. And do them up. Now I'm gonna get just, I haven't got an air filter for this, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get an old Briggs and Stratton filter, you know the sponge ones, and just cut it to rough, rough shape and just poke it in the hole. But that may have an effect on the running, we should see. I'm gonna do that up. And what I haven't done is put the fuel line on the carby, 
which we'll go on in a minute, but I need to flash that carburetor out first, uh, the, um, the tank out first. There's that other map one. It's hiding. So we're happy with that. Let's put these uh, sockets back and let's put the, let's put that back and put that back. I don't know that. Um, so that's all on as it should be. It's all looking good. We like that. Uh, I've got to put this little tiny cover back in. It just sits in, pushes in tight. And then I'll get the fuel tank now and just give it a clean on the outside and then give it a good clean on the inside because there's so much muck in there. It's, uh, it's not looking very good at all. Plenty of water in there as well. So tank flush, I'll be back. Okay, so the uh, tank's now been flushed. Quite happy with that. That's nice and clean. Now there's a bit of a weep, I think, coming from this fuel tap, but nothing excessive. I'm now going to fit the fuel hose onto the tank. In fact, let's try and fit it onto the tank on place first. They just sit down. Let me come around the other side slightly. Ooh. And then, uh, did I get it or not? Oh, I didn't get it. And then fit that onto the tank. It's gonna be no easy task. There it goes, well right, that's on. We might get a weep from that yet, but we shall see how we get on. We shall see. So I've now got to fit them two little tiny where do they go? Two little tiny clips, here they are. Now these are a bit of a pain in the bump to fit on, because they've got a spring. I'm gonna put a fuel cap back on first, I'm gonna put no, no more dirt in here, do I? The vent is working as well. Here comes Mrs. P, she's in the shed, but she don't want to say hi. Say hi, Mrs. P. Hi. There you go, see, she doesn't want to say hi in the end. Um, so I've got a little spring here. These springs, they connect, a little tiny loop, they connect underneath this um, recoil assembly and they then come up and that bit there clips into a hole in the fuel tank. So if they're a bit fiddly, you've got to hook the spring on first, and right in the way of a tank, which is convenient, like that. And once you get there, you can then get your long nose pliers. And these tend to shoot off once you've got them. There's a bit of a lift and twist action, so you've got to get hold of it you then got to lift it and guide it into the hole and drop it down, like that. Okay, so same this side, that way. This one's a bit easier because it's uh, not, not so restricted by the, uh, by the tank. A little bit easier, he says. It goes down past the tank, clips on, over top, get hold of it, and just lift it place like that. So that's that. So as far as I'm aware, to the best of my ability, that's done. What I'm now going to do, I'm going to spend two or three minutes, I uh, could put a new air filter in here, this air filter has absolutely had it. Um, I'm going to spend two or three minutes now, just a bit of WD-40, clean up the deck and what have you, a bit of a general spruce, I and mean, then I'll meet you outside and we'll go for a fire up, shall I? See what happens. Wouldn't it be great if it just fired straight up? That would be lush, but uh, you know, it's an old machine and I think the bloke said originally, originally they've not been fired each for about 10 years. That's what I seem to remember. So let me get it blown off, cleaned up, tied up, a bit more presentable and I'll be back in two ticks of Nat's whisker. It sounds to me like it's a bit restricted. Now I wouldn't recommend doing what I'm doing, okay? Because um, these are a hover mower, so you need to make sure it's safe and at all times, I'll be hanging on to this machine with dear life, okay? Um, but this is just what I have to do to try and diagnose uh, faults, okay? So please don't shoot me down in flames, but I have to diagnose what's going on by starting machines up indoors.
that's going to be a fault then somewhere on here. Is this hose blocked? Is that what's is that is that what's causing this machine to fail? Because that should be a hollow, a hollow pipe. So I'm just going to try and disconnect this uh, air box off to see if there's in fact a restriction in this pipe. Now it is supposed to out at her. It is supposed to actually have this air breather pipe on it. I'm just wondering if that's actually causing this to, to fail. Let's take that off for a minute and see what's going on. Have a blow. No, that's all fine. And I just want to check the top of this as well. It should breathe air in there quite nicely. Where's my air compressor? There it is. I think it's actually blocked up here. I think that's where the blockage is. So the blockage is actually, let me bring it back a touch. I think the blockage is actually down in this, in this part here. See that bit there? A lot of dust come out of there. So I'm just gonna remove that very quickly. It's got a couple of screws, but I'm gonna remove the whole thing. So a little flathead screwdriver. Cool, how that just revved up when you take the air box off of it. So let's take this off. This is supposed to have an air, an air filter in it anyway. So we disconnect that, it's absolutely lashing down the rain now, which is typical when you try and do a video. I'm not sure if there's an air filter in here. I've not had one of these apart before. But we'll have a little look-ski. See what we can find. No, there's nothing in there. There's a bit of dirt in there though. And uh, we'll change over to a Phillips. Now if it's going to be a question of it's going to fail when I put that on, that just tells me uh, I need to um, sort something else out for it. I could just I could just literally put a small piece of hose on here and have it direct. See if that helps it out anymore. Because that shouldn't be restricted. There's a bit of dirt in there. There was a bit more I did, did just blow it out with a with a, an air compressor. But that all seems to be quite good. So what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna just gonna blow out the actual pipe to make sure there's not a restriction in there. So it picked up when I released the, uh, the air vent, and it should, it should go. It wanted to go, didn't it? You, could, you heard it. She wanted to go, brother. Let's bring it in shot a bit. So it's not there then, where there's a restriction. So is there a restriction in here? Let me just put the air compressor in there. So we get out the other end of it. Perfect, there's no restriction in there. That feels pretty good. Unless it was pinching, maybe. Is there enough? I can probably actually, and I can't, because that, be, that needs to be clamped onto there. That's a shame. What I might do is I might just change ends, because that's a bit pinched this end. So what I might do is sort take that big clamp off of there. That's it. And I might just transpose that, so the, the crimped end is at the top end, and the good end is down here. Yeah? So that can go back onto there. I haven't put an air filter in yet, but that would have made it worse. So what I'm going to do now is put the good end onto there and I'm just going to reduce that so we get a, a much better, a much better sort of um, end this end. 
yeah? Have it right up the top out of the way. More of a straighter line on it, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna put this back on, I'll be back in two ticks. Right, I don't wanna be out here very long because it's lashing down the rain. So I don't like getting my camera equipment all wet and what have you, but uh, we'll have a go. So all I've done now is just had a quick clean through and just extended that pipe just a smidge, just so it's more of a straight line when we go to operate the machine. And a bit of a clean out, that's all I've done. Okay, so let's try that now, see how we get on. See if it's any better. On to idle first. Vintage Allen Tecumseh Flymo, fully working. Okay, there you have it. Allen um, Flymo with the Tecumps on top, fully working. Nice little vintage mower, all done and dusted. And now I'm super happy because I bought those two lawnmowers as part of a little job lot, just the two of them. I think I paid 20 pound each or 25 pound each for them. Uh, the other one has not sold, um, which I'm really surprised about. I thought it would go. I had a couple of nibbles on it before it would go. Uh, but this one has got the original uh, Tecumps engine on top. Um, super, super happy. And all it was, the reason why it wouldn't start up was or rev up was because of the airflow. Now what I need to do is, I need to get an air filter in there um, to make sure no dirt goes in. So I'm gonna trial a, uh, just a, a Briggs, a, a brand new Briggs foam, cut it to shape, slide it in, see how that works. And then if it does work, I should try and buy an original somewhere. But I dare say you can, you can barely get them because um, they are quite old. But no, super happy really. A uh, little old vintage machine. It's been sat there for weeks and weeks and months and months and months. And I just thought, you know what? I just don't fancy that. And just today, I've just been sat there. I've been doing the, the cap giveaway um, parcel. So that's how, that's how far away I am on videos. I've uh, been getting them sorted out. And uh, I just thought, you know what? It's raining, but nothing to do. Let's have a little play. And this is what it's all about. You know, when you're sat in the shed and all my, I've got 15 videos all uploaded, ready to go. I just thought, I'll have a little play with that. So I thought, well, I'll get into it, do a little video, see how we get on. And within 25 minutes, half an hour, she's up and running. And so I'm super pleased, you know, a little decumpsy and what have you. They, they can be quite notorious for being a bit of a pickle, especially with two strokers. But uh, all in all, it runs as sweet as a nut now. So super, super happy. If you did enjoy this little video of Mixed Mows about Decumpsy Fly Mow, please subscribe to the channel and uh, ring your bell, set notifications to all. That way you'll be told that one done a video or two more on my Saturday night weekly live stream, which starts at 6.30 p.m. UK time. I look forward to the next episode of Mixed Mows very, very soon. But until I'm Pitbull, don't forget, much more importantly, take her easy.